Hello everyone, it's James in Japan. It is November 3rd, 2021. I am going to ride my 2021 Honda PCX. It's a 125. It's keyless. And here is the key. Just keep this near your body. And that's it. It'll start. You can open up the seat. And you can turn it off and walk away. Or just walk away. Okay, to open it, you turn this dial to the seat. Push this button. It says seat. It opens up. It's storage is pretty big. It is a fantastic bike to have. Okay, here's a footrest for the back. It has two braking systems, a front ABS disc brake and a, a rear brake called traction control. It's also a disc brake. And the The engine is an ESP Plus, which makes the bike really fast. And both tires are Michelin, front and back. Okay, anyway, let's turn it on. It's a beautiful sunny day, as you can see. The PCX has an idling stop option. The idling stop system automatically switches the engine off at traffic lights and other brief stops, eliminating wasteful fuel consumption. When the idling stop system is switched on, it automatically turns the engine off and on for you when you stop and start up. I always keep it on idling stop because I don't want the vibration on my butt. Riding the PCX is very easy. You'll notice by the handling of it, when you turn, go around curves, going up hills, going down hills, it's really easy. I have taken adult passengers on rides up steep hills and had no problems with the additional weight. Everything you see in the video is how the bike came, except for the backrest and the smartphone holder. The backrest was from my old PCX. I told the people at the new Honda bike shop to remove my old backrest from my old PCX and place it on my new PCX. The headlight is very bright. It's an LED lighting. The PCX automatically turns on the headlight when it detects darkness. Of course, there's a high beam as well. I ordered black, but you'll notice that it's sort of metallic blue. The whole contour gives it a very futuristic looking bike. Looking at the left controls, there is the turn switch indicator, the horn, and the low and high beam switch. Looking on the right controls, you have the starter and, oh, we're moving. On the right, you have the starter and the horn. The acceleration is very fast especially when the road is level and when it's not wet on the lcd display you have an option of changing the time and the measuring units there is a green symbol that just appeared on my lcd display it's a bit small for you that means that my bike is on idling stop i prefer to keep it on idling stop really an easy bike to ride it's I know it's a scooter but here in Japan they call it they classify it as a bike a motorbike you can't ride this on the highway here in Japan you need a 150 or higher 150 or higher allows you to ride on the highway
currently 20 degrees Celsius it's a really nice bike to have look at the chrome handlebars to open the fuel it says fuel in English right there you must set the dial to this point it says seat and fuel press that and that'll open the fuel tank door right there and you see the letter PCX that lights up when you ride in the dark you should always check your tire pressure the front tire should be 200 kilopascals and the back tire should be 225 kilopascals and on wet surface on rainy days you should always slow down and be aware of the surface don't suddenly break on wet paint or metal you'll fall it doesn't matter how good the brakes are it depends on your speed perfect to mention that uh, that there's a compartment on the left side you just press it and that opens up you can put your bottle there and you can charge your phone you need a special USB-C cable to your smartphone in my case an iPhone okay guys that is it for this video thanks for watching bye